This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their data tools unit. I'm on Lesson 8, creating JavaScript objects and Puzzle 11. Show full contact info information. Now we'll, now we'll want to show the full contact information. You'll need to reference each property of the compact, of the contact using the same notation you used in the last exercise. Do this. Your code from the previous exercises is provided. Add code to your sh show current contact function so that the phone and birthday information is also provided. Give each piece of information a descriptive header as shown below. Reminder, you can concatenate, which means you can slam together strings and other variables and it will all be written out like a string. Oh, but what they're going to say is with the plus operator. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's concatenate. Yep, okay, I was going to say, yep, and then slash in will place text on a new line. So, concatenate, adding them together, and then if we want to do a line break. So, oh, I guess we're going to need that. Oh, yeah, we'll want to do a line break before phone and birthday. All right, let's go. So, if we're going to do that, let's head to our show current contact. And show current contact function. Does it say? Got it. So show, show current contact function. And then we can go ahead and there's a few ways to do this. Let's go ahead and make a variable. Uh, contact str. Uh, str stands for string, right? I know, creative. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slam together. Well, if we want a descriptor, what do they got? We want something, yep, name, phone, birthday. Okay, so we're going to slam together that. Name. We're going to need a lot of plus signs. <laughs> Let's just do like this. And so we can always use quotes and concatenate, right? Name plus, and then like we did below, we're going to say contact current index we're going to get. So our array's name is contacts, our current index. And again, these are global variables, which is why they don't need to be passed. We have access to them already. They're declared at the top of the code. So any function can always use them and edit them. Um, sometimes that's bad practice, but it's okay here. So, name, oh, this is going to drive me nuts. I'm going to do it like this. Name string, and that will be good for that. And then I could also just do one variable, but it would go like nine miles long. So, name string, and then phone string is going to be equal to phone. And then what do we want? here well we want contacts right we want that same array and then we want to use the current index still because whatever object is at that current index is what we're going to grab and ask for the phone number of so our we're going to say hey contacts array the current index whatever we're at maybe we just hit next or left key or right key and whatever we're at grab that name, grab that object at the current index. So maybe it's our second object. Well, our second object would be in the one index spot and it's friend two. So it will say, okay, friend two grabbed. And then we'll say, okay, what's their name? And now this will equal name plus friend two. Now we'll say, okay, current index two. Okay, second object grabbed. Okay, that's contact two. What's their phone number? It will grab their phone number. And then the last thing we're gonna need is their birthday, because of course, uh, I'm going to just call it B day string. Hopefully Beyonce doesn't sue me. And then <laughs> birthday space. And same thing here. Contacts, current index dot birthday. And now let's see how that all looks with blocks. Great. And now down here, what we're going to need to do, ooh, 
Uh, that should be fine, actually. We just want to do line breaks. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to show text. And then contact info. That's great. That's the ID we're going to grab. And what do we want to output? Well, we want to put out a name string. Okay. Plus. And then they were saying we could use the slash in for a line break, which will want a line break in between our name string. And plus phone string. Okay. And then we're going to want to do one more line break. Plus B day string. All right, let's see if this works. But uh, and I'm gonna hit uh, left. Ba 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 ba. It works. Awesome. Cool. That's kind of tricky. And again, if I really wanted to, I could just have done name string and put all of this up here in quotes with my slash ends. But I did it this way. Um, that way I could see all the text, thought it was easier to read, and I like it. So we could have done just one variable, but yep. But uh, this way is prettier, I think. <laughs> Let's uh, keep going.